Hello everyone, welcome to uh, from Tree Mathematics Chapter 5, Trigonometric Ratios. This is the part 4 video. So actually in the previous video, I've mistakenly left out a very important example, which is uh, to determine the length of the sides when given, when given the values of trigonometric ratios. You may refer to the textbook page 116 and 117. In this video, we are going to look at all the examples on this part. Before we start, we do a very quick revision. Here, you have a right angle triangle. You are, you are given the length of all three sides. So in the previous video, we already learned how to find the sine, cosine and tangent of uh, a given angle in the right angle triangle. Like for example, if you want to find cosine x, we have to use adjacent side divided by hypotenuse and we can find the values. Yeah, so the adjacent side of this angle will be 3 and the hypotenuse is 5. So you take 3 over 5. What if you are now given the right angle triangle with only the value of the length of one side here and then you are given the value of the cosine of the angle x and you need to find let's say the value of the length of this side how are you going to find the length of this side that is what we are going to learn today so we look at example number one given a right angle triangle a b c is and cosine x equals to 3 over 5 so x is here the cosine of this angle is given as 3 over 5 we want to determine the length of a a c we want to find the value of this length so we take all the information given here okay so remember the formula for cosine is adjacent side over hypotenuse so we look at this triangle here the adjacent side for this angle x the adjacent will be a c and the hypotenuse will be a b because hypotenuse is the longer side which is opposite to the right angle triangle so adjacent side is a c hypotenuse is a b so we can rewrite cosine here as a c over a b according to this formula i rewrite cosine here as a c over a b so cosine equals to 3 over 5 so cosine of x equals to 3 over 5 hence this also equals to 3 over 5 so in short we just rewrite cosine by using the formula in this form so now we look at the triangles again a b we have the values of a b which is 10 so we know that a b is 10 we can rewrite this as this then if when we move 10 here to the right hand side we can find a c so a c equals to 3 over 5 division we move to this side becomes times multiply so 3 over 5 times 10 you get 6 centimeter example 2 diagram shows a right angle triangle a b c here given that sine of b a c sine of the angle b a c so a is in the middle here so it means this angle here equals to 5 over 13 and a c equals 26 a c 26 Determine the length of BC. We want to find this, the length of this side. So we want to find the length of BC here, given this angle, sine BAC, sine of the angle BAC, which is this angle, equals to 5 over 13. So for sine, the formula for sine is opposite side over hypotenuse. So we need to rewrite this by using this formula. So for sine of this angle, which is angle BAC here. The opposite side is this, the opposite. So it's BC. Okay, so opposite side is BC. Hypotenuse is the longest side which is opposite to right angle triangle. So hypotenuse is 26. So opposite side is BC. Hypotenuse is uh, 26 or AC here. Uh, AC. So we rewrite this as bc over ac according to this formula so this also equals to 5 over 13 and since we have the value of ac here ac we have the value here we just substitute the values inside which is 26 so ac here becomes 26 now we want to find bc we just move 26 here you multiply okay so 5 over 13 multiplies 26 you find that bc equals to 10 so we found the value of BC, the length of BC, which is 10 centimeter. 
Now we go to question B. Now we want to find the value of cosine of B and C. So we're still looking at the same angle here. But we want to find cosine. So according to the formula, cosine equals to adjacent side over hypotenuse. So the adjacent side of this angle is here, the side beside this angle. So A, B. But we don't have the value of A, B. Yeah. So we need to find the value of A, B first in order to fill in the adjacent, the value of adjacent side here. So to find this angle, uh, to find this side, since this is a right angle triangle, we use Pythagoras theorem. So according to Pythagoras theorem, the longer side, the hypotenuse AC squared, AC squared equals to AB squared plus BC squared. This is the Pythagoras theorem. Then we just fill in the values. AC, we know that AC is 26. We know uh, we are looking for AB. We know that BC here, BC is 10. So we fill in the 10. And then we continue to find the value of AB. So now we move 10 to the other side, you get minus 10 squared. And then uh, since we are looking for AB, I rewrite this. I flip left and right. I rewrite this. This is the same thing. Okay, and then I calculate 26 squared minus 10 squared. I get 5, 7, 6. Since we are looking for AB, find the square root of 5, 7, 6. So the square root of 5, 7, 6 is 24. Now we know that AB is 24. Now we already have uh, all the adjacent side. We can find cosine. Of BAC using the formula adjacent side over hypotenuse. Adjacent side is now AB. Hypotenuse is AC. So AB over AC. AB is 24. AC is 26. Simplified this, you get 12 over 13. This is the final answer. Example 3. Determine the length of X. For the right angle triangle PQR, PQR here given, tangent RPQ equals to 0 0.9. So again, you are given the, the values of the tangent or the trigonometric ratios, and then you need to find the length of the side here, which is the X. So first thing we do, we try to locate the angle, the reference angle here, RPQ. P is in the middle here, RP, uh, P, so it refers to this angle. Uh, this angle here and then we need to change this the uh, tangent rpq so using the formula tangent equals to opposite side over adjacent side so for this angle opposite side will be this the opposite uh, opposite so qr and the adjacent is pq uh, this side adjacent pq so this we can rewrite this as opposite side over adjacent side. We rewrite this as opposite side, which is RQ over PQ. PQ is the adjacent, which is still equals to 0 0.9. We just rewrite this in this form. Now, since we have the value of PQ, we have the value of PQ here, we substitute 20 into this part, and then we can find RQ, which is 0 0.9 times 20, you get 8. So you get RQ is A, 18 here. But we want to find the value of X. So now, since we have the two sides here, we can use Pythagoras theorem to find X, since X is the hypotenuse. So according to the Pythagoras theorem, PR squared here equals to PQ squared plus QR or RQ squared. Yeah? So PR squared equals to PQ plus QR squared. So if you in the values, PQ is 20, QR is 18. We find the values 40, 400 plus 324, you get 724. To find, to find PR, we find the square root of 724, you get 26.91 centimeters. So X equals to 26.91 centimeters. Question 4. Diagram shows two right angle triangles given that STQ and PQR are straight lines. Determine the values of cosine X. So now we have two triangles combined and notice that we don't have the length of the value of the length of this side, this and this. Okay, so to find cosine x, cos we use the formula adjacent side over hypotenuse. But before we use the formula, we, use the, we need to know that since we are looking for cosine x, we only refer to 
this triangle okay this red triangle we can ignore this triangle okay so for this triangle here the adjacent side will be qr qr adjacent side qr hypotenuse will be sr sr so if we can find the value of these two we can find cosine x but we don't have the information for qr uh, we don't know the length hence we need to use this triangle to help us uh, to find the information for the length of qr so now we refer to this small triangle here the blue triangle so since this is a right angle triangle in order to find qt we can use pythagoras theorem again okay so pt is a hypotenuse so pt squared equals to pq squared plus qt squared okay so pt squared equals to pq squared plus qt squared we solve this we find we fill in the values pt is 13 pq here is 12 and then we move 12 to the other side you get 13 squared minus 12 squared and then i rewrite this i flip qt squared to the left and this i write to the right we use a calculator we calculate the values here we get 25 find qt we need to find the square root of 25 which is equals to 5 so now we know qt equals to 5 however because of this sign here we know that these two sides have the same length so if this is 5 ts here will be 5 as well so now since we already have this information we can proceed to find qr so since we already find that this is 5 plus 5 and 5 here and this is a right angle triangle we can again use pythagoras theorem to find qr so sr is the hypotenuse squared equals to qs squared here qs plus qr squared for this triangle for the red triangle so we fill in the values sr is 26 qs is from here to here so it's 5 plus 5 which is 10 so you have 26 squared equals to 10 squared plus qr squared we move the 10 to the left hand side you get this we rewrite this qr squared equals to 26 squared minus 10 squared use your calculator to calculate this value we get this then we find the square root of 576 which is equals to 24 so now we know qr equals to 24 so since we have the values of all the sides now we can go back to find cosine x by using the formula adjacent side over hypotenuse so now we know the adjacent side is qr and hypotenuse is sr and we know the values here we substitute qr equals to 24 sr sr 26 and you simplify it you get 12 over 13 as a final answer now we look at the last example here given a right angle triangle a b d this is a right angle triangle and given cosine 60 degrees equals to 0 0.5 you have already been given this determine the length of AB so AB is here AB we want to find the length of AB so how are we going to start okay from the given information we don't have uh, enough information to find the value of AB so we try to use the given information to find more information okay so look at this symbol here and this symbol it means this side and this side have the same length so it means this is also 5 cm and this also tells us that the triangle A, C, and B, this is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle has the same base angle, so it means that this is also 30 degrees. So for this triangle here, the total interior angle, this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to 180. So 180 minus 30 minus 30, you get 120. It means that this is this is 120. So since DCB is a straight line, if this is 120 here, this is 60 because the total angle for a straight line is 180. So now we look at triangle ADC. You are given 60 here, so this will be the hints for us to use cosine 60 
we rewrite the information cosine 60 equals to 0 0.5 and from here from from this triangle here a d and c cosine 60 according to this formula cosine theta equals to adjacent side over hypotenuse so the adjacent side will be d c so d c over the hypotenuse will be a c so the hypotenuse will be a c and we know that this is also equals to 0 0.5 however a c for a c we have the information we know that this is equal to 5 so we know that dc over 5 equals to 0 0.5 so dc equals to 0 0.5 times 5 which is 2.5 so we know that dc equals to 2.5 centimeters so we know that this is 2.5 5. So, from this triangle here, if we have this length and this length, using Pythagoras theorem, we can find a d because this is a right angle triangle as well. So, we use a Pythagoras theorem. We can use a c squared equals to a d squared plus d c squared. The reason for this set is so that we can find the value of this length. So AC is equals to 5 squared. AD is the length we are looking for and DC is 2.5 squared. So I move 2.5 so I get, I get this. By using calculator we can find that 5 squared minus 2.5 squared equals to 18.75. So I rewrite this, AD squared equals to 18.75 and AD equals to the square root of 18.75 which is 4.333 So now we know that AD here equals to 4.33 So we have this length We have this length we can now use a Pythagoras theorem to find a b. So now a b squared equals to a d squared plus d b squared. So a d squared. So a d squared equals to four point three three squared. D b squared equals to two point five plus five, which is seven point five squared. 4.33 squared you get 18.75 whereas 7.5 squared you get 56.25 you add these two you get AB squared equals to 75 so AB equals to the square root of 75 which is 8.66 centimeter so this is the end of this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.